Are you ready to hear the book that I've actually read over 10 times, like the most read book of, of my life ever? That's what we're going to talk about today. So welcome to this episode of the Life Masterclass podcast series coming to you all the way from beautiful Bali and it's a gorgeous day outside here. So today is our monthly book review and I've got one of my favorite books to review today. And like I said, I've read it over 10 times. I read it every year. It's just such a brilliant book. So I'm looking forward to diving into that and I'm gonna read some of the sections from it as well. So an amazing, amazing book. Um, so let, I was just going to do some sort of talk about what's coming up in my life and that sort of stuff, but let's just dive straight into that. Same sort of stuff is happening in my life. If you want to reach out to me for a hand, don't hesitate to reach out, but otherwise let me serve you by giving you the, the I don't know, the keys to the kingdom. Like this book, I was traveling through South America in 2001, I'd left the army, I'd done my 14 years or so, and I took um, all of my leave, and I took off to South America, and I was traveling through Chile and Ecuador and different places, up to, uh, what's the name, Bolivia, and, or Colombia, I should say. And I remember stopping in Ecuador and like being in some cool, funky place and that sort of stuff, and it was a little cafe and they had like books there, a little library. And as I was poking around, I've picked up this book and I've just sat down to start reading it. And, um, you know, just a small book, a thin book like this. And it just, it just, not blew me away, but it just moved me in, in a way that not too many other books have moved me like that. And it's a book about, the book is called The Alchemist. And, you know, Jen and I do workshops and I say, you know, people put their hands up if you've read The Alchemist. In a personal development group, it might be up to, I don't know, 30 to 40% of people have actually read the book. It is one of my favorite books, an amazing fable, an easy book to read. And it's such a book of hope, such a book of trusting your intuition, trusting the signs, trusting that if things go wrong, it's okay. There's something, you know, even better on the other side of it. So this book is about Santiago, who has this dream. He's a sheep herder. And he has this dream about this treasure. And then, you know, he goes on search, in search of that treasure. And he has different things happen along the way, like highs and lows, highs and lows, highs and lows, just like life. So it's a beautiful reflection of life. And to reflect back to us, just because some things go wrong sometimes doesn't mean that's the end of things. So... Let me read some of the sections from this book and I'm going to put my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm reading. So this, this is another book. It's Polo Coelho's book and it's just a collection of quotes from all of his books. So he's you know, written a lot of books. I think The Alchemist is the highest selling. It's sold, I think, over 100 million copies in you know, a bazillion different languages and that sort of stuff. So it's stood the test of time. So here's just a few little quotes from it. Sometimes it is impossible to stop the river of life. We cannot all see dreams in the same way. I like this one. The fear of suffering is worse than suffering itself. And no heart ever suffered when it went in search of its dreams. I love that. No heart ever suffered when it went in search of its dreams. I'm all about that. I'm all about... You know, all the work I do is about this idea of, you know, we all have this unique signature, this unique being that's calling forth that from within. What is the dream? What is it that you want to bring into life? You know, what sits within you that you want to bring into physical manifestation? So this is a beautiful book to start moving forward in that direction, to start walking your path and the path with heart. I like that um, terminology. So here's another one. It is pr precisely the possibility of realizing a dream that makes life interesting. It is precisely the possibility of realizing a dream that makes life interesting. Couldn't agree more. Another one. Your heart is where your treasure is. And you must find your treasure in order to make sense of everything. Like just, they're just nuggets and nuggets of gold dust. A beautiful story like 
power being expressed within the story as well. It's got the full spectrum. And the reason I read it every single year, and I've done that for, you know, 10 plus years, your heart is where your treasure is and you must find your treasure in order to make sense of everything. Okay, final quote, and this is a, a longer one. We've got some company in the background there. I'm going to try and ignore the presence of that waggy tail. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can see that dog in the background. If you're listening to this, there's a dog in the background. Okay, so this is a longer quote. In this world, there is always one person waiting for another, be it in the middle of a desert or in the middle of a big city. And when those two people pass each other and their eyes meet, past and future lose all importance and the only thing that exists is that moment and the incredible certainty that everything under the sun was written by the same hand, the hand that awakens love and that makes a twin soul for everyone who works, rests and seeks treasure under the sun. Without this, our human dreams would make no sense. So there you go. A wonderful, wonderful book. The Alchemist, I strongly recommend you to read it. It's a really easy book to read. It's not a long book to read. It's very uplifting, fulfilling. If you're trying to work your way through dreams, if you're trying to open yourself up to the possibility, if you're feeling like, you know, the last few years have been a bit of a shitstorm and you like need something to you know, get you moving again, to get these emotions flying, to get you back into those elevated emotional states so you're in the optimum state for creativity, for visioneering, for seeing the bigger picture. This might be the perfect book for you. I, yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is the perfect book for you. I strongly recommend you check it out. And I challenge you to read this book. And if you don't think it is one of the most, you know, powerful, uplifting, um, clarifying, um, joyful books that you've read. So, you know, before you start reading that, at the end of the reading, you're going to feel better than um, the start. If you don't get there, I want you to reach out to me and tell me and I'll send you a huge apology and, you know, I'll do something for you if you don't think that is true. So you're going to take my word on it. You're going to check out this book. Um, it is going to be a life-changing book for you. And maybe you choose to do what I do, which is read it every single year just to get back into the flow of life and reconnect with that something that is bigger than ourselves. You know, call it universe, call it source, call it God, call it Allah, whatever it is. But reconnecting to that and realizing that you're not alone and that you are special, unique and worthy of being, regardless of what you do or don't do in life, you're worthy of love. So this book sort of reconnects you with that. So on that note, if you do need a hand or a helping hand with anything at any point in your life, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to serve you and help you in any way I can. There's no major things coming up. I'm doing workshops again, probably not until September this year. The Become a Natural Superhuman will dive back into that space again. But otherwise... Um, I'm there to answer your questions if you have any. Have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are on this gorgeous, incredible, beautiful planet of ours. All the very best and take care.